Yo guys, it is me, Happy Sarakan. Welcome back to Last Turner Survival. So today I'm gonna explain to you how to get rich in this game without Bunker Alpha. And I already see that some of you are saying, well, Sarak, you told me that Bunker Alpha is the best way to get rich in this game. And that's totally true. I would say that 60% of your entire wealth is gonna come from Bunker Alpha. 10% are gonna come from all the different zones. And 30% is gonna come here from this police department. So today we're gonna talk about police department here because I think that a lot of newcomers are missing out on awesome stuff here. So for those who also do not know we are playing here in my free-to-play account and for those who do not know what free-to-play stands for is we are not purchasing any in-game items here in the game this is completely free-to-play account so we got here to level 82 all by ourselves i have entire free-to-play playlist on how we got here so if you're interested in that link is going to be in the description where you can find that free-to-play playlist but right now we're gonna hop inside of this police department what's up what's up raider and i'm gonna guide through all of the things that i would do if i would start this game once again from the beginning because i do know that a lot of people are missing out on this thing and even my Myself, I didn't know this. I speak a lot about that bunker alpha because again bunker alpha just doing it every two days Already is gonna consume a lot of your time and most of the players will barely have enough time to do that bunker alpha every two days But for those who have more free time then doing here Police department is gonna bring you a lot of and a lot of items and the most important thing that we're gonna be getting here Are gonna be those sergeant cards those brown cards also now Let's talk quickly about the cards for those who know nothing about them This is gonna be just at the same time a quick tutorial about police department So as you can see we can get here a green card and to get one green card you will need to exchange 10 brown cards and to get one blue you'll have to exchange 10 green and to get one purple you'll have to exchange 10 blue and already a lot of people know this but do not exchange your blue for purple if you do not know why that means it's too early for you to do this if you gather like 10 blue somehow some way and if you're not sure why to not exchange them then that's definitely too early don't waste your blue cards for one purple it's totally not worth it and if you just started playing the game and if you're like level 150 or something i do know that if you're going to be one le level 150 it's not like you just started Started playing the game but you're still not maximum level and to reach level 150 takes like three months or something and in that period of time i still do not suggest you exchanging your 10 green for one blue because that's just waste of items your green crates here are going to be the best thing so i'm just sharing with you the most amazing tips that a lot of people might miss out if they start playing the game and this these things like seriously are going to save you up like months and months of progress do not waste your green for blue no matter whatever other people say they're like hey you can get two guns or something 10 green for one blue is never going to be worth it okay so now we're gonna deal with all of these three zombie officers so that's usually what i'm doing and how i'm clearing here this police department okay so let's like now try to deal with these zombie officers so my set is going to break here really really quickly so perfectly in a perfect scenario what you want to do here is always have enough cards every time it, it police department resets so every three days you should be able to come here and open up all of the crates here also you need to repair all the terminals i think that yes indeed i still have only one more terminal to repair but i don't have one extra electronic circuit to repair this one in this account but yeah try to repair as many terminals as possible and then just every three days start opening that uh, thingy up okay so i'm gonna bring here another crowbar and another tip that i give in all of my videos that the best uh, weapons, the most cost-efficient weapons that you can get are gonna be crowbars. So, hey, get those ones. So, I'll try to open the door up and I'll try to sneak behind this guy and we'll see if I'll be able to do wall trick on him. I'm not sure if that... Okay, so you can actually even wall trick these peeps here inside of the police department. So, the point is wall trick is gonna be your friend. Be very careful of these hungry chompers because they're gonna shred you into tiny smithereens. Okay, so he attacked me multiple times. Oh my goodness! Can he just go to sleep? Here we go. Thank you very much. He did not drop anything. So, I do not have here the burglar skill, but if you had burglar skill you would be able to open up this locker and inside you'd get here a grenade if you're lucky enough and grenades are going to be really useful for the police department we're going to talk about that a little bit later but right now i just want to finish this entire police department thing and get as many blue cards as possible so i highly suggest you looting this crate before you open up that door uh, the entrance i'm going to show you which door i'm talking about because when you're opening that up these jailbirds won't aggro on you so here inside you can take whatever you actually need i mean we have enough of that stuff at the base already so as i said do not open up this cell door do not open up this door that i'm standing here because if you would have opened it up then as soon as you start looting this crate these jailbirds would attack you and these jailbirds don't really drop a lot of good stuff so it does not matter okay so let's deal now with another zombie officer these zombie officers uh, do drop brown cards sometimes okay this one did not drop it was well, pretty unlucky okay so let's loot now these cabinets and i highly suggest you looting all of these cabinets because sometimes you might get pretty epic stuff especially in this one sometimes you might get here a first aid kit which is really important and as you can see so far i didn't really uh, waste a lot of and a lot of weapons okay so we're gonna deal with this hungry chomper usually i just use here glocks and again we are here in our free to play and we can just use some glocks here we've gotten them uh, pretty easily but just for the sakes of this video i want to show for you that we can just do here the wall trick i usually 
I've never done it. This is seriously gonna be my first time practicing here and trying to do the wall trick over here. Yeah, and that totally works. As you can see, if I've done it for my first try without even knowing if it's gonna work, then I'm pretty sure you'll be able to do it. I believe in you. Also, smash the like button on the video if you haven't smashed it yet. Uh, very epic. Okay, so let's get another brown card. So I still need a couple of brown cards, but also another huge, 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 huge tip that I forgot to mention in the beginning of the video. I should have just said it in the beginning of the video is that brown cards are good. A lot of people underestimate how epic brown cards are, especially for the beginners. So let's say if you don't have a lot of time to play the game, you can just play, let's say that police department for extra 10 minutes, right? Then there is no way you'll be able to gather like a uh, five blue cards, I mean five green cards every like three days or something, but you can always get like those five brown cards and you're honestly gonna get a lot of great stuff from those brown cards. Okay, so there's the zombie officer, not even sure if we need to fight him, but hey guys, we're gonna fight him. He doesn't really do that much damage. I have here my skull crusher, so we're gonna deal with the zombie officer just like that. Want them to break my armor because I did bring another armor here and inside we're gonna get a key and another thingy, very awesome. A lot of people suggest you just to br uh, save like four or five keys and then open them all at the same time. So probably do this because a lot of and a lot of people are suggesting this. I usually never even save up and never open up those crates as they're kind of useless. Like those uh, cell keys, I'm gonna sh we're gonna talk about that a bit later. And uh, now I just, yeah, we're just gonna come inside. I usually as well don't loot that place because it's kind of useless. But hey, just for the sakes of this video, we're going to lo loot, guys, this room here as well. And you can uh, judge by yourself if you'll find enough a brown or no. So I already have here five brown. So basically, how I would do it is if you just have a couple of minutes here to play this police department, then try to clear all of these rooms to get enough brown cards to open up and fill up all of your terminals. But if you got, let's say, like four brown or something, and if you're really on a rush, then you don't really have to even clear this room. But I'm just giving all of these tips because I do know that you can give like bunch of and bunch of tips that, oh, I just do entire police department, do everything. But not a lot of people are going to have like 24 hours a day to play Last on Earth. So I'm trying to give like seriously the most time efficient and cost efficient tips here that will speed run your entire Last on Earth survival progress. Just like I said, every two days, Bunker Alpha, and plus if you're gonna add on top of that uh, this uh, police department here, then you'll be playing this game at 90% efficiency, just with spending like literally an hour, less probably than an hour a day here. So that's what's super important, and that's what all these videos are about. Okay, so one more bandage, we're gonna take it here with me into my inbox. Yeah, we have here the wrench, but uh, you know what? We're gonna take that wrench because I have here another armor. Very nice. Obviously, you don't have to bring this armor, so not a big deal. Also, I'll try to go and loot this room as well. We'll see how that's gonna work. Okay, so there's gonna be this guy. Will I be able to sneak up on him? Uh, okay, so all of them are gonna just attack me. I'm not even sure how that's going to work. Usually never clear that room just like that. Wait, I'll try to just hide here behind this door and some of them are just gonna come inside. So am I gonna be safe from all of them? I doubt it. Okay, so let's try to deal here with the zombie officer. So some of them, okay, so now we'll have to definitely, guys, fight with this guy just like that. Uh, at least we've hidden. So maybe this is gonna help you out because if you're just gonna rush inside of that room, you will get in a lot of trouble. Oh, there's this zombie officer. They didn't even see that he's here. So if they destroyed a little bit of my armor. Definitely, this wasn't perfect way. If it was me, I would just I would have just used Glocks here because it would have been faster. Just like I said, maybe don't loot that room. That room is probably uh, not worth it. I think I looted that room only two or three times in my entire life. But I just wanted to share with you how could you do it. Okay, so let's deal with this extra zombie officer. Bada boom, let's get another brown card. So as you can see, all of the damage that we've gotten here to the armor, all of the healing items that I used on this room aren't really that worth it. Maybe there is a bit different way on how you could approach this room. But as you can see, it's really not worth it. It just sucks up to many of your items. So now we're going to go further. I could open up these brown crates, but I just want to talk about uh, some other crates and we're going to do like maybe a couple of waves in the police uh, police department here as well. So I'm going to talk about the ways. Wait, did all of them attack me? Why did that other guy attack me? I have no idea. Okay, so the point is you don't want to mess up with the brawler guys. So whoa, whoa, whoa. The point is you really don't want to mess with the brawler as he does a lot of damage. So we're just going to try to deal with the brawler here with my Glock. Obviously could probably wall trick him. Uh, but I just want to hide from that place just like that, baby. Okay, so this guy's gonna go to sleep and will I be able to wall trick him just again for the sake of this video? If it was me, I probably wouldn't even bother about it. Like these couple of shots aren't gonna make you super rich here anyways. But hey, if you like uh, to the point where you don't have any guns or anything, you can definitely do this. Okay, so we're gonna try to attack him. Here we go, just like that. Okay, so the point is he has to come a little bit closer. So I'm gonna let him come a bit closer. As you can see, he does like 12 damage. And when you're hiding behind the wall, his screams do not affect you. 
Okay, so he's gonna scream here once again. Okay, so we're gonna do twice damage. Just like that, baby. So we're gonna deal with him. So another 12 damage. How does that even work? Whatever, we've put him to sleep. Finally, we're done with that place. So these are the cell keys that I was talking about. All you need to get is like, how many of them? One, two, three, four, probably five cell keys. And you can open up all of them at the same time. Uh, you will have higher chances to get a steel plate or something. At least that's what people are saying. I'm not sure if that works completely. But at the same time, you have nothing to lose to just save up those five crates. So not the five crates, but those five cell keys. So probably try to save them up. I can't confirm if it's good or bad. Okay, now we're gonna take this Hungry Chomper. Once again, most likely we're just gonna wall trick this bad boy over here in this room. Come to Papa. Come to Papa. He's like, what is going on? Why my friends are on the floor? And I totally failed. Oh my goodness, I totally failed. You know what? When he's destroying me, I'm just gonna take a Glock because Glock does way more damage per second than that crowbar and I'll save some more durability. So that's how we are gonna go. Now let's take here some skull crushers, some other items. We've cleared here everything. I don't go inside and I don't clear these dudes because it's it's worthless. They don't, they're not gonna drop anything else. So if you if you cleared everything here in the zone and you still did not gather enough brown cards or if let's say if you still have enough time to go and play more of this police department, then let's start doing here a couple of waves. So speaking about here police department, it depends on what level you are gonna be. If you're just a beginner, let's say if you have a couple of melee weapons, then I highly suggest you're doing like five waves because inside of these five waves you're gonna get a couple of brown cards and each time you'll be able to add up those green card brown cards and you'll be able to exchange them into your green card so for example right now just on wave one we've already gotten here a brown card and also all of this thing is just rng so sometimes they're gonna drop here cards sometimes they will not drop here cards all of the zombies have chances to drop brown green and blue cards but they never drop any purple cards the only way to get purple cards is to exchange blue for purple so let's now go for for another wave if and do not click do not click surrender because as soon as you're gonna click surrender then waves here are gonna stop and you'll have to use one more electronic circuit to progress and i mean it's not really that good okay so now let's try to deal with another guy here boom and most likely you're not even gonna have an extra electronic circuit to spare hair uh, spare here and if you have it then I still don't mess it up. Always click start here because it's so easy to surrender. Okay, so let's try to go for another wave. So I think at the wave three or something, uh, at the wave four or five, I'll have to start using my guns here. So as you can see, they're doing a lot of damage. It's kind of wasteful of my armor. I should have just left my armor there inside of the lockers or something. But hey, let's deal with these zombie officers. And as you can see, I'm using here literally the, the most basic weapons and they're working here perfectly. And on the wave three, we've already here gotten a bunch of and bunch of items. Okay, so let's Let's deal here with this zombie officer. Thank you very much. Brown, brown, another brown. So as you can see, we already have here 14 brown without really spending here a fortune on this entire police department. So if you don't have enough armor or something, then you have to start doing police uh, bunker alpha a little bit more frequently. So this way you'll be able to get a lot of armor here. And again, we didn't buy this armor or anything. This is my free to play account. We have like probably entire chest of this armor and I almost don't play here. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to get the armor. So now on this way, I would probably suggest you dealing now and turning on your Glocks because you're just gonna waste more weapons, you're just gonna waste more armor. That's not really that smart. So on wave four, probably maybe even to wave five, you could use your other items. But here we go. Right now, all you'll have to do is just run around this place because this is how you do this police department courtyard. And also another quick thing for those who didn't know, at wave 99, this is going to be the maximum wave that you can do. So after wave 99, the police department thing here is going to stop and you'll have to wait until your police department here is going to reset. Okay, so I'll have to go now and get a bit different Glock here. So here we go. Let's equip the Glock. Let's deal now here with my brawler because there is no way I'll be able to actually fight them with my melee weapons here. Brawlers are going to do a lot of damage. Now let's deal here with this guy and let's pick up here some items. So the point is, it depends on where you are. So let's say if you're a beginner right now and most likely you're not going to have here a lot of glocks, then I just suggested to pull the plug here right now on the wave like three or four or something. Let's say if you're like level up to 50 or like whatever, or if you just don't have guns, because this is going to be the perfect way for you to gather as many brown cards as possible. So I do think that I was pretty lucky, but as you can see, we've got already 15 brown cards. So it will be enough for me to exchange for one green card and open up all of my brown cards or just use up these brown cards for the next like 
two or three times here inside of this police department. But we are going to go here for one extra wave. Forgot to take my Glocks. Let's take here like that, guys. And let's try to do one more wave. I just want to show to you how it's done. Like, it, this is pretty easy. All you have to do is just keep running around here the place. Another quick tip. You don't really have to use your full armor here. All you have to have here is just your shoes. So I highly suggest you having here SWAT shoes. But if you don't have SWAT shoes, tactical boots are going to work perfectly. Also, the biggest tip, the biggest like kind of pro tip that I would suggest you about here at this police department is gathering as many MGLs and gathering as many grenades as possible because with one grenade you'll be able to throw it here inside of the police department and basically you'll be able to do like damage to five or whatever zombies at the same time so that's what you would want to do my biggest tip here about how to get rich here like the most efficient way let's say you're gonna play this game for like a month or two and every time you come here you just do like let's say five ten waves maximum or something you're not wasting your too many guns or something but meanwhile you're trying to gather as many grenades as possible by doing that motel if you have your burglar skill and by doing let's say like that third second floor of bunker alpha no actually in the third floor you can get a grenade which i don't think you can get a grenade on the second floor also here by doing that the same police department where there was like that hungry chomper you could open up that uh, locker with the burglar skill you could get another grenade so you just keep doing this while you're still doing your bunker alpha this police department a little bit and then you're gonna gather let's say like 20 grenades or something and after you gather like those 20 grenades or whatever you just go to police department and use them up and you're gonna save up a tremendous amount of weapons and you're gonna get an insane amount of green cards let's say if you're a little bit more progressed here in the game if you're gonna get if you're gonna have here a bunch of weapons okay so this is gonna be my last wave because i don't have any more shoes so that's a little bit sad I shouldn't have probably even started this wave so if you're let's say like level 150 or something and you have like a couple of chests of guns and the base then I suggest you doing this police department like uh, 30 waves each time 30 40 waves or something and depending on how many green cards you get so you'll have to exchange all of your brown for green and you're just gonna keep opening up all of your green cards so in the best case scenario you would always want to have like around uh, 30 plus whatever green card at the base at all times then every time this police department resets all you'll have to do is just come here and open up these green cards because green green cards are the best way here to get rich in the game they're gonna give you a lot of and a lot of melee cards. I mean, they're just gonna give you a lot of melee weapons, and today I just wanna show to you how good these uh, green cards are gonna be. Okay, so we're getting a little bit thirsty. Let's try to deal here with one more brawler, baby. Just like that, zombie officer, brawler, and hungry chomper. Well, that's it, definitely. Took here quite a while. To deal with them and so far we're just getting bunch of and bunch of brown cards not a single uh, green card so the point is the higher uh, waves you go here the higher chance there is that you're gonna get here a green or a blue card usually after 99 waves or something you're getting here like 10 15 blue cards sometimes more but this is like around the average can't really say for how many green cards you get because they've really uh dropped differently but you do get quite a lot of green cards i think after like 30 waves or something you can get like 10 green cards or whatever and they're gonna last you for quite some time. Okay, so let's deal now with one more riot shielded zombie just like that, baby. Bada boom. Let's give me another brown card. So I could just exchange all of these 20 brown for like two green and maybe that would be kind of smart. But as you can see, I don't have anything else here and this is kind of my free-to-play account. So we're still not here super rich. I'm still gonna get only one green here and we're gonna open up all of my brown here. So wait, how many things I have? I have here four. So we're gonna open up three brown here. Uh, one, two, three brown and let's say one more green that's it so as you can see inside of the, these brown crates especially if you're a beginner you're gonna get like one first aid that's that's already pretty good just for one brown you know you, just for killing like basically one zombie you're gonna get one free first aid kits also we're getting here a hockey stick again i'm not picking these hockey sticks even in our free play account but if you have a lot of space and if you're not lazy to build more chests at the base or something if you have a huge base or whatever somehow some way in the beginning then hey make sure to bring these hockey sticks and you can farm with with them they're definitely good to farm wood also you can take whatever else you need from these chests i highly suggest you picking up these baseball bats because baseball baseball bats are pretty epic like baseball bats and hockey stick do have almost the same dura the same i mean dps but they're like 50 50 i still prefer baseball bats i do pick up baseball bats because baseball, baseball bats are pretty good to farm wood you get enough of these baseball bats and you, you basically can't even use all of those baseball bats that you'll get from the brown here so as you can see we're getting here bolts we got here uh, another first aid kit just from this we're getting a little bit of glue and another brown here we go we're getting hammers hammers are going to be useful in the future a little bit of duct tape some more glue some more rubber parts so just as you can see from these three brown crates we've gotten tons of and tons of stuff that are really really worth it for a newcomer and even for 
kind of advanced player, they're still really good. So this is like a secret gem that a lot of people miss out on. That's why I wanted to make this entire video just dedicated basically about these brown crates. But your most valuable crates are going to be, and that's what you should strive for, that in the future you'll be just opening up these brown crates all the time, like your five brown crates every time your police department resets. So here, you're, I've already gotten here one katana, really lucky, and inside here we got to get M16, so this is a perfect example of the best crate you can get here. So as you can see, just from one brown, uh, from one green, we're gonna get one M16 and we're gonna get here a Katana. Obviously, I got lucky here. I'm not saying that that's what you're gonna get here all the time. Most of the time, you're not gonna get it, but out of like 10 green or something, there are, high ch there are seriously high probability that you're gonna get at least two guns here. So you're already gonna get the same guns that you would've gotten from blue if you would've exchanged it. So that's why you don't exchange it. You're gonna get here a bunch of melee weapons. Also, you're getting here a blueprint. Let's get here the blueprint. And for those who do not know, after that ATV was released, Developers removed the ability to get here any gun parts, so you cannot get here any more carbon composites, no more factory parts, so the only way to get those ones are going to be through recycling your weapons. And after you recycle enough of your weapons, you'll be able to get your... to bunker bravo and after you do bunker bravo you'll be able to get those factory parts over there so these were literally all the tips that i have to give about police department so i highly suggest you checking out my last and earth survival free to play playlist or click on the second card and you'll see the most recent video or hop over to my channel go to playlist and there you'll find a lot of other games that i played here on the channel if you're not subscribed yet definitely be sure to drop the subscribe button and the notification bell to not miss any future videos and consider following me on instagram or twitter at epicyric mm -hmm. yep